Tell us the heart behind this song. Eh, es un honor estar acá con ustedes y ahora que recibimos este premio de nuestro álbum, nuestro álbum se llama eh, Evangelio, son las buenas noticias, es un honor poder dar este mensaje en medio de tanta necesidad, en medio de tanto caos, tanta oscuridad, las buenas noticias del Evangelio es lo que trae salvación para, para este mundo. So it was a great honor for us to be able to win what, which was um, album of the year. Uh, it's called, it, the theme of it was Evangelio, which is translated to the gospel. And it's just such, such an honor to be able to spread good news in the midst of so much chaos and so much need. And for us, this just represents that, that new season where God is doing greater things and just reaching those new souls that are in need. So. those of us who aren't familiar with you guys, are you a family? Okay. Yes. Awesome. So, so the original band, three brothers, and this is my dad, this is the lead singer Josh, and I'm his son and the daughter. So it's the two, two generations. The band started 24 years ago. Wow. We do ministry, three generations of serving the Lord, praise God. And yeah, now this is the new generation of rising. Amazing. I just wanted to say that I had the privilege of attending the Latin showcase last night. Um, and your family is so very anointed. Um, the way that you guys worship um, pierces the hearts. People who can't even speak Spanish um, feel the anointing. Um, can you share how you um, prepare before you do a set? Um, do you pray as a family? I would imagine that's something you do. I would love to know um, your preparation before you perform. Yo recuerdo que mi papá, cuando yo era niño, me decía, cuando yo estaba estudiando en la escuela, no te prepares para el examen. Prepárate para la vida, prepárate para, para aprender. Y creo que lo mismo lo podemos hacer. No te prepares para un performance. No te prepares para un servicio. Prepárate porque amas la presencia de Dios, porque lo amas a Él más que todo. So when, when I was younger, my dad told me something that impacted my heart. And it was, don't ever get prepared. Don't prepare yourself for a performance. Prepare yourself for life. And so in ministry, I... I use that and incorporated that in my in my life i never prepared to show somebody something or do something but with my walk with the lord i prepared for life so it's that daily surrender to be able to have that and value the presence of god and know that it's not because of what we can do but it's because of what he can do through us and so yes and and now adding uh, adding to the group we have uh gabriel Davis. All right, well, this is great. I just want you guys to reflect on the performance tonight. It's quite a historic performance. It's really touching, really moving. We felt it in every language, and uh, we could see how it was impacting your hearts. As he said, it's part of your life. So just talk about that performance tonight. Então, a performance essa noite foi algo que Realmente eu não poderia imaginar é, estar com o Bertão Mills, o Kimiel San Marco, uh, nessa noite tão especial de celebração a Deus, mas eu acho que a coisa mais importante e mais bonita que nós vimos essa noite foram as pessoas levantando as suas mãos e cantando que Ele é santo e adorando ao Senhor. Isso realmente é o que nós somos chamados para fazer. It was a privilege for me to join Miel San Marco and Bertão on the stage. I could never imagine that. And we could praise God very strongly, but the most beautiful thing I could see, people just uh, raising their hands and just praying God, praising God, saying He's holy, 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 holy forever. Yeah. 